Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming. We're back here in American Truck Simulator. We're currently on a delivery in progress, so let's get back to it. And dump the engine. Park and brake on and rest. And income 599 from Yuri W. And Yuri W has leveled up. Loan installments in total of sixty-one fifty. So yeah. Oh wow! Now we're down to three thousand. <laughs> no, we don't want to stop the engine. here and a right coming up and green light the nail house motel and casino let's put the cruise control on 30 miles per hour and we are going to want to get over all right six hours 54 minutes remaining We have eight hours, 52 minutes left on the job. So we are definitely going to be able to uh, do some extra little bit of driving if necessary. But for now, we'll just play it as is. Try to get up to highway speed. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, do a little bit more driving in around. So I'm gonna go this way, gonna go that way, up to there. I wanna go that way. No, we'll just go that way. We have a total of 262 miles to go. Six hours, 48 minutes remaining. Our estimated time of arrival will be 4.55 in the morning, of course, because we had to take a rest break. The previous estimated time of arrival did not take into account the rest break, so it does now. So that's a thing. I'm thinking we should turn off and just complete that rest of that road there. Yeah, let's do it. I don't like that unfinished like it is. So we're just gonna drive this small section of road. for that section there. And right there. So now we can go into the dirt. Whoa. And we have 1% of damage on our truck. That's probably just normal wear and tear. hop back into the map and I feel a little bit better now <laughs> I originally wanted to come back this way around to Ely but I think I was getting close to having to take a rest so I didn't want to 
drive, turn around, and go back, and go do that loop. Probably should have. But it's done now. We've explored that road. And we have another 109 gallons left on the tank. 522 miles to go. On a 70 highway, getting up to 50 miles per hour. Yeah, three thousand dollars in the bank. With this delivery, we'll make thirteen thousand seven hundred forty-two, which means we'll have uh, about sixteen thousand seven hundred. So I'll be able to pay off that ten thousand dollar loan, and then from there, I'll just have about sixty-seven hundred dollars which will at least cover one more interest payment, well, loan payment. And then we can possibly buy another truck because reasons. More trucks means more drivers, means more money coming in. <laughs> and things just snowball from there. Pretty much the only thing that your money is good for is to buy more garages, buy more drivers, and of course buy more trucks that is basically what you're working for <laughs> you don't have a home mortgage you don't have you know food you don't have kids to pay for it's pretty much uh, you know you're driving to buy more trucks and buy more uh, garages we don't have to worry about life trucking is our life we don't have to buy food. And 1253 from driver Wilma F. That is nice and nice. Wilma has leveled up. So let's hop back into our driver manager. Because that's right. Yuri W. also leveled up. He was taking long distance. He has two levels in long distance. That's nice. He's making us $1,517 a day. $3.40 per mile. And Wilma F is making us $14.57 a day. $3.62 a mile. Interesting. She's making us more per mile, but her profit per day is low. She's been working for us since day 10. We're currently on, what, day 16 now? Jury's been working for us since day 9. His last job, oh, $599. Interesting. All right, so she has a level two, a long distance. They are both rated 1.7. So what I would like to do is have, hmm. I wouldn't mind them doing long distance. But I think I want them to... She actually is higher skilled. We are going to set you to train for high value. And I want you to, to do what is this? Uh, just in time. Yep. That's what they are going to be working on. And I think what I am going to do is we are going to buy a second truck, or rather a fourth truck, once we get this job done. Or what I could do is I could buy it right now. <laughs> Actually, no, no, I could buy it online. I don't have to travel to the dealer. But I'm going to do that after this delivery is over because I don't want to get that distracted. I may do it at the start of the episode. Oh, let's slow down. 30 miles per hour. And should I get gas? Sure, let's get gas. Stop the engine and fill up. Price is 272 per gallon we're going to need probably 
100 gallons. Oh, 109.19 gallons. For a total price of $297. Let's get back on the road. back up to 70 miles per hour. We have 3 hours 37 minutes remaining, 139 miles to go. We have a nice full tank of gas which we can go on approximately 900 something miles. So yeah, it's pretty much we have to fill up every delivery. One thing I was doing off screen in between episodes is I was taking a look at the options and in order to upgrade this truck to the sleeper cab, the long chassis with a 220 gallon tank, we would need to literally spend 40 or $50,000 upgrading this. <laughs> Basically the day cab that we have right now cannot go on the long chassis you actually have to get the sleeper chassis the sleeper cab and what it ends up doing if you upgrade the chassis you also have to upgrade the cab then you also have to upgrade the interior you have to buy a new interior so yeah it makes more sense to actually buy a new truck with the upgraded cab rather than spending it on spending like forty or fifty thousand dollars to just get the next level cab and chassis and so I think that is what I was going to do so yeah about that once we're done this delivery we will go in search of another truck I might go with the longer chassis although with that said Yeah, let's hop in and truck dealer. If I go to Peterbilt and we'll just go to this Bakersfield one, we'll go to the buy online. So this is the only option I have. This one's available from level 12, which is a stand up sleeper, the same thing. Five, seven, nine, six by four. Is it the engine that's upgraded? 1650 pound torque, hidden fuller, 13 speed with a retarder, 220 gallon, 220 gallon, so. Hmm. And those two are. So, yeah, these are stand up sleepers, and that's a high rise sleeper. Yeah, about that. Anyway, let's jump back on the road. And it looks like we are coming up to Highway Interstate 80 and to, of course, Winnemucca. That is nice. down left turn onto the interstate and now I'll seriously there we go All right, we're on the interstate and we have 49 miles to go, one hour, 17 minutes remaining. We need to get there in three hours, 47 minutes, so that's no problem at all. Rest break in eight hours, 50 minutes. to want to exit off coming up here might as well slow down just because we are going to be exiting off soon Coming. 
70 meter cast, city limit. And we need to take your right up here. Actually, one way I could have done this. Possibly not. Let's take a left. going to need to drive into the bitumen then discover it eventually we might do a delivery there I just prefer to unlock or discover as many roads as possible I haven't decided when I plan to end the series or put the series on hold I did have a few times where I did hold off releasing episodes just because I had some technical issues with my computer and uh, then I had an issue with my voice and so I was not able to record for about five days and uh, yeah that meant pretty much uh, That meant, uh, yeah, I fell behind. And so I pretty much put uh, a few of my series on hold. And I also delayed the Euro Truck and American Truck. I've actually had episode the two previous episodes of American Truck recorded, not edited. But I wanted to also get some Euro Truck recorded as well. So I held off doing those episodes. So let's slow down. Don't want to get a ticket. And 16 miles to go. Heading over to S crops. Oh, slow down. And here we are. back up to 70 miles per hour not that it's going to matter because the S-Crops is just right up here and where are we dropping this off right there I think I remember that one or right there nope 40 XP, so it's not that difficult. Alright, so. Hmm. If I. Nope.
There we go. Now. Yep, that should be good. We could just get it back up straight until... Trailer straight. Can't see anything out on that window. Something like right about there. And cargo is ready for unloading. Let's attach the trailer. Achievement unlocked, high five. What is that achievement for? <laughs> uh, so, driven distance, 658 miles. Time taken, 24 hours, 26 minutes. Fuel consumed, 138.1 gallons. For a total of $13,742 and 861 experience, nice. We are about 795 experience until the next level level 12 is when i think another level of uh, truck unlocks so if we, if we go back to buy online so yeah level 12 is when the peterbilt 579 stand-up sleeper unlocks it has a 455 horsepower engine $156,000 all right so to get a sleeper cab you need to spend big $144,180 if we take a look at Kenworth and we can buy online because we have at least three trucks so $148,270 for the W900, 143,750 for the midroof sleeper, Eaton Fuller 13 speed, 220 gallon. This looks very similar. I'm tempted to drive a T680. Three seventy, thirteen fifty. Yep, yeah, pretty much is identical in stats wise. But we might just go with Peterbilt. Could always buy a Kenworth. We haven't bought a Kenworth quite yet, other than the W nine hundred. Um and then hand this one off to our new driver. No, we'll go with the Peterbilt 579 stamp sleeper. We are going to customize it though. We're definitely going to customize it. So yeah, pretty much you have to, with this cab, you have to buy the interior. You have to buy the side skirts. <laughs> You, you think that the interior comes with the cab itself, but no. There's a separate interior that you have to actually buy, which is, of course, why this one costs 144,000 compared to the 100 and whatever cost that is. Um, we are going to take a look at the cab. So yeah, it's a difference of $16,000 for the cab, but then you also have to buy this chassis you sell whatever chassis you had <laughs> all right so we can go up to a 455 horsepower engine a couple thousand dollars more we'll be getting the 220 gallon chassis that is nice and then we can go up to 13 speed retarder 
or we can have the 18 speed. Uh, I kind of like the retarder. It's retarded, I know. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we're going to go with the 18 speed retarder. Oh, we're going to need to money. That's right. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna have to. That's annoying. So I'm gonna have to go to the bank, but it does look like I'm gonna need at least hundred fifty thousand dollars. First of all, I am going to repay this. Can borrow $140,000, we have $8,000 in the bank. I can't buy the truck I want. Interesting. All right, bet that. <laughs> so, about that, um, I'm just gonna have to keep driving this truck. So, at this point, what I'm going to do is take a break here. That is rather unfortunate but I know what my target is going to be. Let's just take a look at the job market and at this point I'm probably going to be splitting this episode up into two parts, so that is a thing. Anyway, we've discovered Las Vegas, Prim, Kyosh. Oh, nice. We've discovered all of Nevada. We just have Hornbrook to go for. I need to know, I need to know destination. Hornbrook, Hornbrook, Hornbrook. Anything going up to Hornbrook? Oh. Road Roller from Barstow to Hornbrook. Offer expires in 13 hours, 49 minutes. Unfortunately, we are all the way up here in Winnemucca. That's the only one going up to Hornbrook. I might have to wait till uh, Oregon gets uh, released. At least I think that's Oregon. Yeah, about that. That's rather unfortunate. Well, about that. So let's just take a look at the price per distance. Yeah, even if I tried to rush my way over there, I'm not going to get over there. Just because I'll have to rest and yeah, that's so. $21.73 per mile is the best delivery. The highest paying, del paying delivery. Really? Uh, no. Okay, apparently not. So, price per distance. Oh yeah, it's probably down a few pages. So 33.52 per mile. Ely. Offer expires in three hours. Nope, not gonna get there in time. Winnemucca to Bakersfield. Ooh, twenty-one thousand dollars. That is a possibility. So the gallon to Chems in Bakersfield. This is actually quite nice. We are here in Win Winnemucca. So if I go over here and then the chems in Bakersfield, which is right over here. I believe so. I will be able to unlock this section of road. I like it. Yeah, that works for me. Then I just have this here, just have this here, a little bit in here. I have this small stretch of 580. I have this here in Carson City. A little bit of here in Elko. Yeah, about that. 
So that is what I'm probably going to do next time. I'm thinking... Hmm. Offer expires in 12 hours, 39 minutes. What I'd like to do... Uh, destination. Winnemucca, Bitumen, I need that one up there. I'm assuming it is a gas delivery going up to Winnemucca. Because that's the only thing up there, there's the gas station. Alright, so that looks to be what we're going to be doing next. This one expires in 26 minutes, so I'm not going to get there in time. Not that I necessarily want to do it. it. Is a longer delivery. It doesn't pay as much. Wow. Yeah, this is the one I want to do because it is Hazard Class 2. That's a Hazard Class 3, so Ethane is actually pretty decent. It's also an important delivery, which will give it a little bit of extra money and experience. So yeah. Next episode, we are going to do Ethane. And then maybe we can think about buying another truck. Buying a sleeper cab, upgrading, getting another driver. Now with that said, what I could do is I could buy just a basic truck, keep this truck on the road. Uh, what do I have for garage space? Fresno, I have nothing, no space. I got one space in this Las Vegas garage. And then I'm going to have to upgrade or buy another garage. About that. <laughs> Average daily profit, $10,000 a day, which gives 100% productivity. Yeah, about that. Wow, $75,000 per day. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode of American Truck Simulator. Come back next time for more. Other than that, thank you for watching. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and as always, have a good day.